Hey guys, sorry about the lighting. I can't, uh, can't figure it out, but maybe the sun will come through and the lighting will get a little better. But I just wanted to make a quick video just kind of talking about plans for 2017. Uh, I know I, I definitely want to really, like, buckle down and study European Portuguese because... I've been studying Portuguese for about a year now, and I've come to realize that I can, uh, even though it's been a year, I can hardly put a sentence together, and that really bothers me. But I think listening to Philippe at the YA Reader blog has really uh, helped. I, I don't understand everything, obviously, but... Um, it's helpful. So, just getting the listening in, even though I can't understand, it's getting the help me understand how to pronounce things and kind of put everything together grammatically. And since Philippe is so young, I, I don't feel like I'm going to be spitting out, like, sounding like an old person, you know what I mean? Or like a robot. Because what I'm using right now is du Duolingo, but and Duolingo is nice, but I, I don't think that I'm, I'm going to be able to get fluent. So if, if you guys know any good Portuguese textbooks or something of that nature, please let me know. I also really want to kind of learn Russian because I think that's going to be uh, important to learn in uh, these next four years, so Olive, if you're watching and you can recommend a good uh, Russian textbook, please let me know. But, yeah, so I want to learn Russian and I want to improve my Portuguese, like actually improve my Portuguese and not just sit on an app and say the cat drinks water for a good hour every day because that's not going to get me anywhere. <laughs> I also really want to kind of broaden my reading horizons. I want to read whatever my Goodreads goal book count thing comes to. I will double that for 2017. And if I read close to like, th how many did I read? 43 books? I don't know, I'll have to double check. But close to that, 43 books in since July, I think I can I can manage uh, doubling whatever that when I when I have the full year, hopefully. At, but who knows? And if if I'm I'm just I'm not gonna sweat the small stuff in 2017 because there's going to be a lot more things to just just worry about in 2017 in general because 2017 is going to be we thought we thought 2016 was bad guys prepare yourselves for 2017 but i i want to read more non-fiction and contemporary i i like ya obviously, or I wouldn't be buddy reading with Philippe for like the past four months now. Um, I do enjoy YA, and I think YA is always going to have a special place in my heart, but I I just, I just want to kind of just broaden my horizons and kind of... Uh, YA can be done well, but I, I just, I just want to read more in general. So, yes, uh, that, I also, I, I changed my major, so, well, I'm in the process of officially changing my major, but for all intents and purposes, I, I changed my major, and I can't wait to, to actually, like, take the classes that I want to take, and that's going to be fun, and I'm sure I'm going to be reading a lot more diversely, even if it's not my intention, it's going to become homework. So I'm going to be reading a lot more because I'm, I, I changed my major to English Lit. And I, I, 
I think I have to thank you guys for that because I don't think if I hadn't met you guys, I, I probably would have just stuck with broadcasting and would have been miserable. I would have been graduated, but I, I would have been miserable. So thanks, guys. Uh, 2016 was a hell of a year. <laughs> I got my first girlfriend and I lost my first girlfriend. And maybe I, I can't go into too much detail, guys. I'm really, really sorry. But just because I choose to make my life public to you guys, uh, she doesn't want her life uh, that that public, at least not right now. Maybe things will change, but maybe uh, you guys have put two and two together. And my, my friend that has enlisted in the Coast Guard, that best friend that I'm always talking about, um, yeah, that she, she was my girlfriend. And she's my, she's, she's my best friend. I don't want to call her my ex because I think ex has a really negative, negative feeling towards it. Like, that's just how I feel. And I don't want to put her in that category because she is, she is my best friend. So I just call her my best friend. But her ship out date for when she goes to boot camp uh, that keeps getting pushed back and I don't know when she's gonna get shipped off but it's really tough when you talk to your best friend from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed and you you know, you know that one day she's not going to be able to talk with you because uh, the way the way boot camp works is you write letters and I don't know if I'll be able to write her and they're only allowed to write once a week for a four hour break period on a Sunday and she made the really tough decision to to uh, end things with me because she didn't want me waiting for her during her four-year term. She wants to try to improve her life and she has to do what she thinks is best and I'll be here waiting regardless I'll be waiting and if we get back together that's great if we don't I have a best friend who is the bravest person that I have ever met and I'm gonna go, guys, so I don't get, like, all emotional, but thank you for listening, and until next time, guys, I'm sorry about the lighting, it's, it's close to sundown right now, but I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you.